I love the arts because of its expressiveness, the creativity, and it's just super, super fun. But not only that, it's done complete wonders for my mental health. It's really encouraged me to go out and meet and connect with new people, which I wouldn't have done if I wasn't involved in the arts. I love the arts because they bring me joy. It's so fun to get to live new lives on stage and to delve into the human soul and use it to create. If you can imagine it, you can essentially put it on the page or stage. Why I love the arts. Um, for me, it's being captivated by <coughs> exceptional talent um, and hard work or um, losing yourself in an incredibly written story you know, listening to that album that, you know, takes you through the journey that the artist is intending you to go through. And it's, you know, it's amazing. But I also love the arts because, you know, it, it's subjective and also so relatable. You know, it, and it's helped me through many a hard time in the past. You know, when you're watching a film for example, and, you know, you can relate to the character, you know, it really can help you feel less alone, especially in hard times like this. I love performing and the arts because it gives you an opportunity to inform people and maybe even change their opinions on topics. Going on stage, inhabiting a completely different person, becoming that person, and then being in a situation you might never be in in your own life is it's astounding, like the feeling of completely taking on a new persona, leaving yourself and becoming someone else is just incredible. I think being able to do that effectively as well and having an effect on someone else's life, their opinions, it's, you can't really compare the feeling to any other, any other job. As an actor, art and a lot of people say art is just a way of expressing yourself, but it's also a way of feeling closer to the ideas of others and sharing your emotions and sharing other people's emotions. For example, if you're in a theatre and there is a really, really dramatic scene and you feel for the characters, then everyone in that room shares that moment. And as an actor, you know that that moment will never be recreated in exactly the same way or felt in exactly the same way. And love being able to just be someone else, step in someone else's shoes. I think that's what I love about it most is just being able to explore a character and then also I love the fact that I can then, that I can engage an audience in this world that's being created rather, whether that's in a play, a film, TV, anything. I just love, and then I just love the fact that I, for those two hours or however long, that I can make someone in an audience just forget about the past or what, what's been going on during day-to-day -day life and then focus on their single story I just think it's amazing and that's why I'm well that's why I love the arts and why I started a career in the arts art is also a great way to broaden your knowledge and expand your knowledge on on things you may not know that much about um, I know that's certainly been the case for me you know, and it can make you see things, it can make you see things in different ways, you know. And I feel like that's something that is important for everyone, to be honest, no matter who you are, because you don't want to get stuck in your ways, and it's always good to see different points of view, I guess. I love the arts because they are a way of expressing things that are taboo. Um, they provide an emotional outlet for many people, whilst also providing entertainment for others. Creating theatre is one of the most exhilarating things for me. 
um, live performance is unlike any other form of entertainment. You get one chance to do well. You get one chance to showcase everything that you have been working so hard for. It is so exciting and fun and emotional and raw. And you see all of that on stage. And I'm sure everyone within their own practices would be as passionate as I am about their own thing but the arts in general are just so fundamentally important to humanity yeah that is why I love the arts <laughs> hi I'm Daisy I'm an actor street performer and I run a creative well-being drama company for children I wanted to work in the arts ever since I can remember. My mum used to take me to see shows when I was younger and I just remember sitting there and thinking, I want to be that person on stage. So then as I got older, I managed to sustain a career in the arts, which proves that the arts is definitely viable and there's so many things that you can do within the arts. I got involved in the arts because of the contribution of a few vital teachers and mentors along the way. The ones who stand next to the big, wooden double doors that say creativity over them and whisper to anyone who will listen. It's open. As an actor, I want to try and help people uh, by portraying characters and telling stories that um, they might be able to identify with and in doing so, hopefully, maybe help them to feel less alone. That's why I chose this career. Why did you want to start a career in the arts? Well, since I was a wee girl, I wanted to be a teacher. Because who doesn't, you know, sit up your little stuffed animals, teach them maths. That's what every child's dream is, or it was mine. And then got that cast in the lead in my year six end of school play. <laughs> and I got to school and I was doing drama and I was like, this is cool. And then I realized that it wasn't like, I want to be a teacher because teachers stand in front of a class and the students are silent. They're listening and you can teach people. And that's such a great hold on people. And then I realized I wanted, I didn't want to just hold people in the classroom. I wanted to hold an entire audience of people and make them listen to what I'm saying, grasp them, get their attention. And I was like, I want to be an actor. That's it. I'm going to be an actor. And at 14, I scared my mother half to death, converting from I want to be a teacher to I want to be an actor. <laughs> um, my love for creating and performing is actually one of the main reasons why I want to start a career in the arts, whether that may be music, dance, acting, filmmaking. Like, I just love being creative and creating something um, through storytelling. I guess, and through like some form of expression. <laughs> it, it, the arts help people. They really do help people. And they've certainly helped me in my life as well. Um, and I can't, I can't see myself doing, I can't see myself being as passionate as I am about the arts for anything else. And to those people who say that the, the, the decision to have a career in the arts is silly, it's degrading, it's stupid, it's not, it's not worthy. Um, it doesn't matter how much money you make or how successful you are in that career. What matters is how happy it makes you. And the arts make me extremely happy. And I know I'm not the only one who thinks so. I was to express myself, you know. It can be quite therapeutic, I guess. Um, you know, depending on what character you're playing, you know, you can learn about different perspectives and, you know, really delving into the human psyche and discovering things about yourself even that you, you didn't really know about through playing other characters. I think that's something that's amazing, to be honest. I want to take a job in the arts because art is very important to me. It's the way we make movies, the way we make shows, games, music videos, theatrical performances, musicals and all that. But for me, the most important thing about the arts isn't just about the things we make, it's about how we make them and who we make them with. I've made all my friends I've made, I've been made via 
films that I've made or a web series that I'm currently developing or the feature film I'm working on or these short films that we're going to be putting into festivals. <laughs> all these people have come together to make these short films, these films and everything and it's all being amazing and I think art, if people say art is subjective and I think this art is very important. I think if we lived in a world without art it'd be very bad because I don't want to live in a world where I can't make a movie or can't go to the theatre and watch a brilliant musical performance that I've been wanting to watch for ages. I think that's really depressing and the world has already gone to hell right now and I think it'd be really bad if we do that and we go into this next stage and there's no theatre, theater, there's no movie. What actually inspired me to pursue a career in the arts was my high school drama teacher, Mr Hensley. He was just so vibrant and eccentric and just excited about everything and anything. And I just remember thinking, I want to have the confidence that that man has. I want to be as open and positive about everything in life, just like he is. And it was there that I ditched my dreams to become a forensic scientist and decided to try and pursue a career in the arts. Another reason I'd say I, <clears throat> I, I pursued a career in acting is also, you know, getting to meet all these amazing creative people and getting to work, you know, getting the pleasure to work with incredible writers, you know, incredible, incredible actors, you know, incredible cinematographers, incredible, you know, every, everything, you know, everyone in that creative bubble, we're musicians as well, you know, it's, it's amazing, you know. Uh, what inspired me to start a career in the arts was around 10 years ago where I watched Forrest Gump for the first time. And I was just so inspired by Tom Hanks' marvellous performance and the character of Forrest Gump that it just hit me harder than I don't think any movie has ever had. And with the Forrest Gump character, just seeing a character with a mental disability do all these extraordinary things made me think, if someone like him, who's a lot like me, can do that, then why can't I do something like that, if not similar? The arts are so important because it enables us to be free and open and creative. And I think as adults, we forget about our imagination and our creativeness, but the arts are there to just remind us that it really is important to just let loose every now and again and to be creative and to use our imagination. But it's even more important for young people, especially young children, because the arts are there and can really help with their confidence and their social development and it can even support children with learning difficulties. So the arts is not something that can just be swept under the carpet. Art is not just a hobby. Why the arts is valuable? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, it's valuable because it brings people together. I mean, you look at live music and music festivals, you know, some of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had is from seeing live music. Because, you know, you meet people from all over the world at mu music festivals and stuff like that. So, you know, that's that's one aspect of it. And another thing would be um, the amazing conversations that can be sparked from watching TV shows and films. You know, the conversation, some of the conversations I've had with my friends and family after watching a film together, you know, it's, it sparks some of the most interesting conversations I've had. So, you know, that's another way art is valuable because of uh, bringing people together. The arts and performing really give you a chance to educate people um, in a way that's different from sitting down and just reading a book and just being taught ABC. It's you, you learn life skills, you learn people skills, you learn about people, which I think is the most interesting part of it is you learn why people are the way they are. You, you learn why a person might turn out a certain way because of something that happened in their past but then it's not it's not necessarily tragic it's you you use that past and you make it into a strength you make it into why you are the person you are today and you can use it to shape yourself maybe into someone new um the fact you can learn from a character as well 
I know I've performed and played characters before that have then made me rethink some of my opinions, the way that I live my life. Escapism is entertainment. It's bringing you into a different world. It's creative minds coming together to create something for the audience to see. And it gives people that watch something to remember. The arts isn't just about performing, it's about confidence, about social skills, about making friends and so many other things. The world would be a dull place without creativity and art in it. Let's be honest here. Like, you know, creativity can, you know, it stems from all sorts of things as well. I mean, even sport, you know, you have to be, you have to have a creative mind to play football, for example. So, you know, it, it really, creativity and art really bleeds into all sorts of other things, not just acting, you know, and drama and dance and music and whatnot. So, yeah, that's another reason it's valuable. The arts is very, very, very valuable because it's everywhere. Like, it's literally everywhere. It's on your TV, it's on your phones, your laptops. It's when you want to go out and have a good time. It's pretty much nearly every form of entertainment. Um, and I feel like a lot of people take the arts for granted because they don't realise how much hard work goes into producing a form of arts. Like whether that may be a dance, a piece of theatre, a film, like a lot of work goes into it. Um, and I feel like a lot of people think it's just a hobby when it should, you know, it's, um, it's in fact probably harder than most jobs out there because you have to put a lot of effort into producing something. <laughs> The arts is valuable for so many reasons. Um, if you think about just lockdown entertainment, films, TV shows, books, <laughs> art, <laughs> like, you know, that's just one part of it. There's also the whole thing that arts in general, the arts and being creative, has an impact on everyone in some way. Like, without doing drama I wouldn't be as confident as I am now without doing art I wouldn't be able to express myself in different ways without listening to music I wouldn't be able to I don't know you know where I'm going with this like there are so many really really valuable skills that you learn from creative studies and from creative things that are so valuable to everyone even if you don't have a career in the arts the arts are still valuable to human wellness and human happiness and to keep the brain engaged you know so i just wanted to say art uh, is work um you know whenever you listen to music or watch a show you're watching someone's hard well more than someone's usually there's a lot of work going into that a lot of people uh working on that so yeah and we all enjoy the arts and, we, and it gets us through hard times. The arts is valuable because obviously economic, economically there's just tons of revenue that streams in because of the arts on regular day-to-day -day basis, whether that's streaming, music, concerts, everything to do with that. Um, not only that, I think it helps with um, mental well-being. Not, well, being a part of a show and being a part of a family even if it is a small tight knit thing for that time you're in a show or concert, that's, that's amazing. It's like you're a little part of a family. I think mental wellbeing like that and watching it, I mean, just escapism, just being able to just relax and sit down and watch something on the TV, cinema screen. It's just, you just escape from just, you can escape from reality for just like, even if it is just for two hours, it helps. It's catharsism. What else can I say about that? And then, I think it just helps educate people. We'll see whether that's, and it helps change views in society. It can help change views in society. Um, whether that's just sitting down watching a brilliant, brilliant piece of theatre directed at a certain subject, even if it's only one or two people that go away from it thinking, wow, I can, and just that could then spark off to one or another two people watching or better. Just that those two people that have watched it then spark and be like, okay, well, maybe we need to change this or this. That's, that's what it is. It's just, even if it's just a spark, it, it does, it helps. It 
shape society. It shows us a mirror image of ourselves. Hi, I think art is work because it really helps with the mental health. So maybe you'll be inspired to make some things by people's work. And the more work we make, the more work there's going to be. So, so the arts to me are a lifeline. Um, they are the only thing that give me pure 100% joy and I feel that's what it does for a lot of people. I feel in society today if we didn't have the arts the world would be a very horrible place. Um, and I, I think that's extremely true because when you think about it you know everyone's connected to the arts in some way. Um, people go to work and when they come back from work what do they do? They watch Netflix, they listen to music, they play instruments, they watch TV shows, films, music videos. It's all a pure escapism for them. The arts are critical, not just to the audience, but also to the practitioners, who we can all be with a little bit of passion and guidance. The arts are important because they open up new horizons of possibility and imagination. The arts engage and inspire. When I think of the times that I have felt down or have been struggling, it's been art that has eased the burden. And I don't think I'm alone in that. Whether it's creating art or experiencing the art of other people, it's just such an important thing to have in our society. And with the way the world is right now, we need the services of artists all the more purely because live theatre matters, TV matters, the live performance art matters, movies matter, Netflix and all the others matter, Amazon Prime, streaming services matter. So to be told to retrain after spending 22 years aiming at one career goal, it's very very demeaning and I feel that the individuals who say yes you should just retrain don't necessarily understand the benefit and the impact that the arts have on the social and cultural environment of the world in which we live. Art is work. Uh, save the arts, always. Thank you very much. Art is work. Art is work. Art is work. Yeah, art is work. Art is work. Art is work. This is true. Art is work. Art is work. Art is work. Art is work. Work is art. Right, ready? One, two, three. Art, art is, is work. work. <laughs> it kind of works.